Hi everyone, I'm Elena Ostock and I'm the Visual Arts Manager at the Banana Factory. Um, right now the Banana Factory is closed to the public and the stages over at ArtsQuest are quiet, uh, but we're still committed to bringing you quality content. So uh, this is a virtual workshop part of the Stay Creative series uh, and it's all part of our initiative ArtsQuest at Home. Uh, so if you go on our website uh, with the ArtsQuest at Home you can find uh, live streams of concerts, you can find comedy, education um, resources, and of course visual arts. Um, I'm so excited that you're here watching this and if you like what we're doing uh, feel free to donate to ArtsQuest um, or buy a gift card for future use when uh, we're back up and open after the pandemic is done. All right, and today I'm going to uh, t show you guys two different origami pieces you can do. Uh, they're very basic. I am by no means an origami expert. Uh, this one is always a crowd favorite. It is a jumping frog. Uh, and then this one is actually a wearable samurai hat um, or helmet. And so I'm going to start with this one because it's a little bit easier. Um, I'll say when I made this example, I used cardstock and that paper was a little bit heavy. And something that occurred to me is you can make origami using literally any size paper. And since it's a wearable hat, I may as well make it human size. So I'm gonna take this piece of newspaper. And for those of you at home who don't have origami paper, just like I don't have origami paper, I'm going to show you a very simple trick to make a perfect square out of a piece of paper every single time. What I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take uh, one corner and fold it to the next edge. I line up this corner right here so that we have this, the, this edge is completely flush with the edge beneath it. And then I crease it. All right. And so then I can just trim off this excess. Uh, and here we have it, basically a perfect square. Ignore how raggedy this edge is. And the first step is actually to fold in half diagonally. So kind of the fold it was already in. So I have a big triangle and I'll actually, I'll do it upside down so it's facing you guys a little bit more. And then you're going to, uh, I like to put my finger in the middle uh, to kind of secure it. And you're gonna bring both of the acute angle corners, there's a vocab word for you, you're going to bring them up and fold down like this to the corner that's 90 degrees. Alrighty. Okay, so now it should look like a square again, but we have these two flaps. Um, I'm going to turn it to face you guys again, and you're going to take um, both of these corners again and you're going to fold them in half up to the top. Um, alrighty. And now we're going to kind of, I, again I'm going to use my finger to kind of tack down that middle there and I'm just going to fold it out a little bit. And now we have kind of two pieces of paper left here, and I'm just going to take the top one for this part, and I'm going to fold it just part of the way up, like this. We don't want to fold it all the way up because that's just going to block everything. And now I have this kind of excess. I'm going to fold this over again. Perfect. And now with this back, I'm just going to flip this over and fold this back this way, boom. You can stick your hand in there and now you can wear it as a hat. Um, all right, and now I'm gonna show you guys the jumping frog. I'm going to fold it in half, uh, just into rectangles, not the diagonal that we uh, just did. I'll use my fingernail to really crease it. And then I'm going to take um, this kind of top corner and I'm going to fold along the crease that I already put in there just to fold it down basically to the halfway point. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to do the same exact thing again, uh, but from the other direction. Open it up one more time. 
And then I'm going to take this top fold and fold it to uh, these two points here, like that bottom of the X, um, which is basically the halfway point already. And then I open it back up again. I've got, um, you know, one, two, three, four, five triangles and a pentagon, basically. And these kind of want to bend in, so I'm going to pull them in and then flatten out this triangle. Now we have these kind of, these two flappy parts. These are going to become our front legs. So I'm going to fold them over like so. And then I'm going to fold uh, the sides in a little bit. This is going to give our body a little bit more structure. All right, so I have my front legs, I've got my head, and then I have the body the sides kind of folded in. And now this last part, I'm going to fold this part all the way up kind of to the front of the face, smooth that out a little bit, and then fold it all the way to the back, and we are all done. We have our frog, you just press on its back, and it'll jump. Um, so that, those are the two pieces of origami I know how to show you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please make sure to check out Arts Quest at Home for all of that digital content we have. The concerts, the comedy, more of these virtual workshops. Thank you so much for joining us and uh, hopefully we'll see you in person sometime soon.